<laughs> this ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring, with all that I have and all that I am. Through this ring, I accept you as my husband, for now and all the time. Now, by the power invested in me, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Jack Sampson, you may now kiss your bride. Jack? <coughs> In recent news, yet another victim has passed due to a fatal allergic reaction. Anaphylaxis. I'm here with Susan Strong, one of the witnesses to Detective Arcane's miraculous crime-solving abilities. I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for Over the course of three years, I've exposed millions of criminals, each mystery solved with one thing in mind. A pattern. At the moment, the pattern I was working on connected 21 victims of allergic reactions, far too fatal to be the work of Mother Nature. So somebody wanted them dead. But who? Whoever it was, they were fooling every detective in the state. Except me. Hypersalivation and seizures. These aren't the common signs of an allergic reaction. So why did Jack Sampson experience these symptoms? Unless... Just as I thought. What's going on? Arcade? Plain. I knew this case was just your style. You're coming with me. Sir, the body. What's going on? You were attacked with a neurotoxin that mimics the symptoms of anaphylaxis. Think puff of this poison and pollen. Now listen carefully if you want to live. Hand over the body, Arcane. Arcane? Ah! Take this. It's an antihistamine that should clear things up for you. Sir? I want him dead. Call me Detective Arcane. I've been starting a series of crimes related to one another. You were the latest victim, drugged to unconsciousness so that you would be buried alive. Why? Who would do that? I believe I have a lead. Where do we start? A ring. My wedding ring? No, a crime ring. In this case, the most underground and lethal organization on the planet. Who? The Ring Around the Rosy, an organization with unknown intentions, murdering their foes with a signature rose. Wait, wait, wait. Rose like the rose on my suit? That's correct. We might locate the origins of the rose in a collection of gardens nearby. If we do, we should find your killer. How will we find him in such a big place? Your nose will lead us there! <laughs> Welcome to McDonald's Farms and Gardens. McDonald, we've seen a man out in this area recently. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Carrying a dead body, perhaps? Would this body belong to anybody who's tall? That's right. I see. Thank you for your help, officers. Ring around the rosy, couldn't let him get away. <laughs> Woo <-hoo>! Take that! <laughs> Ring around the rosy, pocket full of rosy. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. a secret laboratory. What's that noise? It's the nursery rhyme that lends the crime ring their name. A chant for ritualistic death. Will you be coming then? Yes, I don't have much choice. What's this? I believe it outlines the ring's purpose. The ring strives to make humanity one with nature by eradicating individuals with plant allergies that are evil and destructive to the ring's cause. What? That's insane! Stop right there. Jill? Jill Sampson, a florist. That's right. I sell flowers for a living. Doesn't it all add up? Jill, don't do this. I left the ring a long time ago, Jack. And they threatened to kill you if I didn't give back what I stole from them. What? What did you take? Plans for a biological weapon that could kill millions. That's right. You must be the ringleader. Show me where the files are or else your husband dies for real this time. Never. Show me. I shouldn't have to tell you more than once. Jill, don't do it. Shut up. Get on the ground. As you wish. <laughs> grape hyacinths. I'm allergic to grape hyacinths. <laughs> A pattern of the dozen victims that survived their miraculous reactions, 100% at grape hyacinths. I couldn't get close to the targets. They were growing grape hyacinths everywhere. <laughs> Another mystery solved.